everyone, Mr. Fired Up Wealth here. Last time we covered the top five autonomous driving stocks, and today we'll cover the top five stocks for 5G. Now, 5G is a major disruptor in a huge secular growth trend that you need to be a part of. 5G is the next generation of wireless network technology designed to meet today's growing data demands of the future while also expanding the scope of mobile technology beyond the capabilities of LTE. It'll be transformative, fueling innovation across every industry and every aspect of our lives. Over time, 5G will revolutionize the way we live, work, and play. It's projected that there'll be over 50 billion connected devices by the end of next year, and analysts expect 5G to deliver 10 to 40 times the current speed of 4G LTE networks. Its lower latency promises to enable new applications from self-driving vehicles to cloud gaming. Here are a few of the key things that 5G promises to do. 10 to 100 times speedier than your typical cellular connection, and even faster than anything you can get with a physical fiber optic cable going directly into your house. For example, in optimal conditions, you can download a season of Stranger Things in seconds. It'll also enable mobile HD video, mobile uh, AR and VR, and many other applications benefiting from these higher speeds. 5G will disrupt industries and bring more choices, particularly for home broadband. That's right, 5G can replace your wired cable internet connection in your home. 5G networks can respond almost in real time with next to zero delay, which will enable new applications that respond instantly, especially important when a split second reaction time really matters. So think self-driving cars, cloud gaming, real time language translation, uh, augmented reality, remote surgery, smart highways, smart factories, very cool stuff. Launching 5G will require the biggest overhaul of America's wireless networks ever. According to GSM Association, which represents 800 of the world's largest mobile operators, it'll cost roughly a half a trillion dollars to build out the required infrastructure. Dad, let's get this video started! Number one is Xilinx. Xilinx is the leading maker of a type of chip called Field Programmable Gate Array. That's FPGA. Think of them as powerful blank canvases that can be used for many different tasks. For example, Amazon and Google use Xilinx chips for their giant data centers, and the US Air Force uses them for their drones. The key advantage of Xilinx chips is that they are adjustable. You can change them to perform a brand new task or optimize an existing one. Most other chips are built for a specific purpose and aren't adjustable. This gives Xilinx a huge competitive advantage for 5G network providers like Sprint, AT&T, and Verizon because right now they're basically figuring out how 5G works as they build it. And for the most part, industry standards really haven't been set. Things are constantly changing, which requires the equipment to change along with it. To expand 5G's highway, the network providers like Sprint and AT&T are using something called multiple input, multiple output, also known as MIMO boxes. These are very important. Several wireless carriers in America and South Korea are already using Xilinx chips in their 5G rollouts, primarily for these BMO boxes. By using Xilinx chips, one carrier is able to slash the energy of its BMO boxes in half. It also reduced the number of chips inside each box from 24 to only four. I see explosive growth potential with MIMO, which makes Xilinx my top 5G pick. As an added bonus, the stock pays a 1.3% dividend yield, and they have grown their dividend payout for eight consecutive years. With all this said, I do want to caution you on the risks. Demand for Xilinx may have been artificially inflated due to Chinese companies stocking up in anticipation of possible sanctions. It's also an expensive stock with a high P.E. ratio. I believe in Xilinx long term, but I only recommend dipping your toe for now. Leave yourself room to dollar cost average down since the Chinese trade tensions could continue to significantly impact the stock. But I do like it and it's one that I would add to your radar for a 5G outperformance. <laughs> the second stock on the list is Verizon. Now Verizon has been a dividend investor stalwart for years, but the company really hasn't shown much growth recently. This is gonna change with 5G. I believe that Verizon will become a significant growth and income stock for the next decade. With the Sprint and T-Mobile merger, the United States now has a wireless oligopoly, which is a fancy way of saying we have three large companies that will dominate the wireless market. 
Of course, those three companies being Verizon, AT&T, and now T-Mobile. 5G will cost a ton of money for infrastructure, so I highly doubt you'll see any significant new players in the space anytime soon. The barriers of entry are just enormous. Verizon, with a yield exceeding currently 4.1%, has already become one of the more attractive income plays. It has stable cash flows already, and 5G will boost both revenues and growth. I like Verizon stock ticker VZ as a no-brainer pick in the 5G space. The next stock is Skyworks, ticker SWKS. And although they've been beaten up recently with the China trade drama, this stock looks promising long term. I also like the fact that it's currently not too expensive and pays a solid dividend of 2% with four years of consecutive dividend growth. Skyworks is widely known for providing radio frequency chips for Apple, but they're stepping up to the 5G revolution. In late July of 2018, the company unveiled its state-of-the-art antenna aperture tuners. These are incredibly compact and provide enhanced bandwidth coverage to accommodate 5G airwaves. Beyond that, the stock has other viable businesses that can help mitigate the volatility in the telecom sector. Skyworks leverages significant expertise in industrial solutions, automotive design, and smart home platforms. They are highly diversified. Their small cell solutions position them well in the 5G space because small cell demand is expected to jump to $58 billion in 2024. Smartphones are also another major component to their business, and IDC expects uh, 5G smartphone shipments to increase from 6.7 million units this year to more than 401 million units in 2023. Skyworks is ready to make a dent in the market for 5G smartphone chips. It has already launched solutions to reduce power consumption of 5G-enabled devices, so it wouldn't be surprising to see existing smartphone customers lining up to buy those chips as 5G devices are rolled out. I like this one for the long haul. Take a look at Skyworks, ticker SWKS. Number four, AT&T. Now hold on, AT&T is one of the big three to offer 5G wireless service. As mentioned earlier, because of the tens of billions of dollars needed to build a 5G network, it's unlikely we see another competitor anytime soon. With only three companies offering the service, all of them become extremely valuable. The company has struggled recently, cord cutting in the pay TV business, a highly competitive wireless industry, and the costly 5G upgrade have weighed on AT&T. I know lots of people who hate this stock, and rightfully so, it's been dead weight for a long time. However, this offers a tremendous advantage to those who want to invest now. The recent struggles of the stock have taken its forward PE ratio below 10. The S&P 500 five-year average PE ratio is about 18. The biggest reason to invest, however, lies in the dividend. Its $2.04 per share annual dividend comes to a yield of about 6.6%, a little less now. That's more than triple the S&P 500 average of 1.9%. Even better, the psychology that drives T ensures that the dividend will increase. The company has increased the dividend in each of the previous 34 years. For this reason, maintaining the price of T stock hinges heavily on the dividend increases. The increased revenues that will likely come from 5G will also ensure that the company can afford these dividend increases. I also feel that 5G will allow T to grow, and I'm confident that the Time Warner acquisition will pay off, especially as 5G rolls out. With 5G beginning to become a revenue source, the company's fortune should improve. Moreover, a single 4PE and a generous dividend make AT&T one of the more attractive 5G stocks. I have owned AT&T stock ticker T for several years, and it's essentially my bond with upside. It's not for everyone. It's definitely something to consider as a portion of your portfolio for yield and potential upside from 5G. I like T long. I think it's priced attractively. Take a look at it. AT&T stock ticker T. The last stock pick today, number five, is Cisco, stock ticker CSCO. Cisco offers critical internet infrastructure. Its products, along with the stock's value and rising dividend, should make Cisco one of the more compelling 5G stocks. Cisco employs what it calls a cloud-to-client approach to 5G. The company wants to tra transform networks end-to-end, -end, which makes Cisco's equipment a critical component in delivering 5G faster. This technology is designed to encompass every aspect of 5G into a seamless network, which will provide security and enhance video optimization. In addition to 5G customers, Cisco also offers a compelling value proposition for new investors. Its stock trades at about 16.5 times forward earnings, 
a little worse than that after a big run this week. But analysts expect about a 5% revenue growth this, this year, which is solid for the PE ratio. Cisco paid its first dividend in 2011 and has increased these payouts every year since. Today, Cisco pays about $1.40 a share for annual dividend, which yields a little under 2.5%. Cisco stock offers a reasonable P-E ratio and an above average dividend yield that will probably rise on a yearly basis. With 5G, re 5G revenues funding additional profits, this stock should be a solid hold for the next decade. I own Cisco, I wish I had more of it. I, I have it on my shopping list. If there's any significant dip, I will be adding. You should take a look at Cisco as well. Stock ticker CSCO. Okay guys, this was the hardest video I've, I've had to make so far. Uh, in terms of the list, it was nearly impossible to pick the top five. There, there are just a ton of stocks that can fall into the 5G category, and there's a lot of fringe players as well. Um, some of them that could have easily made the list, Qualcomm, CCI, which is Crown Castle, they do towers, American Tower as well, uh, Broadcom, Intel, obviously Sprint T-Mobile, Ericsson, Nokia, Apple, and other fringe players like Google, Tencent, Alibaba, Amazon, Netflix, all these can benefit to, you know, with the 5G space. In fact, I own all the stocks that I just listed with the exception of a couple, and you could go on and on. Um, you know, video game makers like Glue, Zynga, Take-Two, Activision, EA Sports, all of these players are gonna benefit from 5G with this lightning fast uh, internet capability, have access to it anywhere and everywhere. It's going to revolutionize the world. It's going to take time, but there are a lot of stocks that could fall into the 5G realm that will benefit. The, part of the reason why I'm so heavily invested in technology, I'm very overweight in technology, but I do believe that all of these stocks, and there's probably several that I didn't list, are all going to benefit. Nearly any chip provider, all the, uh, all the chip companies out there, they're all gonna they're all gonna benefit in some capacity so do your homework on these the five that i picked are the five that i personally like but there are a ton of companies that can fit on the 5g list so do some research do some homework i hope this video at least helped you get started gave you an idea of where to you know where to get started if you haven't subscribed yet please do it please hit the red subscribe button below i put a lot of time and energy in these videos I do it to try to help people, to give them some ideas for investing. If you like the video, please give me a like, please give me a comment, please subscribe. Next time we're gonna do the top five legalized marijuana stocks, which I'm very excited about. It's a very interesting space that I've been in a long time. It's had a lot of ups and downs. Right now it's taken a beating, there's some opportunity there. And then the following week, we're going to do the top five FinTech. Now next week is 4th of July, so I think I'm gonna take a week off but I will make those both of those videos as soon as I possibly can. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave it below. Or you can reach me on my website, www.firedupwealth.com. Thanks a lot. Have a great rest of your day.